Hello, this is Jared from Commit Quality. In this video, we're going to go over how we can utilize custom fixtures instead of using hooks. If you haven't seen my last video, I'd suggest going to view that now as this is an extension of that video. I'll put a link on the screen and uh, in the description as well for you. So in the last video, we discussed the ability to use fixtures instead of hooks. But what are the actual benefits of doing this? So you can see on the screen now, we actually have the documentation up and ready. And they already stayed in here. It's really rich with this information. So it's saying fixtures have a number of advantages over before and after hooks. One is it encapsulates the setup and teardown in the same place. So of course it's easier to write and maintain. They're reusable between test files. So you can define them once and then use them in all of your tests. And that's exactly how we use like the page fixture um, and any other fixtures built into Playwright. They're on demand. So you can define as many as you want. And then Playwright is only going to set up the ones that are needed by your test and nothing else. They're composable. So they depend on each other to provide complex behaviors. Again, they're flexible, so you can kind of tailor these to whatever you want, tailor them together to make exactly the setup and teardown you want. And it simplifies grouping, so you no longer need to wrap your tests in Describe that's going to dis give you information about the setup. You're free to group your tests by their meaning or their functionality instead. So let's jump uh, right into the code, and we'll have a little go with this. Awesome. So just to recap what we did in the um, previous video is we had two describe statements with two tests. And inside that we had a before each in this describe to set X to one. And we had a before each in this one to set X to two. And then we're just expecting X to be one in this test and X to be two in this test. Now, as we just described, what we can do is we can use fixtures so we don't have to group them this way and we could bring in fixture one in here and fixture two in here and under the hood fixture one would set x to one and fixture two would set x to two so let's do this then so test as base to extend it here this as the alias under here i just want to create my own type so i'm going to say type uh, new fixtures which sounds all right you can name this whatever you want and we'll say fixture one of an any type and we'll have fixture two of an any type so these two fixtures is where we're going to say fixture one um set it to one and fixture two set x to two so let's uh now extend the base test by providing these two fixtures um and then these two fixtures can be used in multiple test files uh, each of them will choose what fixture they want to use. So to do this, I can say const uh, test equals base.extend to extend it. We just created the type of new fixtures, so let's pass that through. Let's make that cool. Like that. Brilliant. So we've got that inside there now. Let's just save that off. Fantastic. And now we want to say fix one, which is the uh, first one we created. And that's asynchronous, so let's do that. We're not passing anything through the pram in here, but we do want to say use because that's going to be used to say our fixture is ready to go through. Spell async correctly, and now all that is normal. So inside here, then we can say um, let's define fix one first. We'll say fix one uh, equals let's just put it as undefined just so it's something there for us. Now, this is where you could say if you add like a login page or authentication page, you do like const login page equals and then you have um, your new instance of that class created. Um, here, we just want to say x equals one. And then we simply just want to say I want to use this fixture inside a test. So I can say await use fix one. OK, and we're all good there. So that one should be defined and we want to do the exact same below it. So I'll just copy and paste. But instead of fix one, this would be fix two, and instead of setting, uh, we don't want. We'll we want to rename that. It, it'd be fine like that, but we do want to rename it so it makes more sense. And instead of setting x to be one, we're gonna say x is now equal to two. So we now what we've just done now is we've extended the base test class to add two new fixtures. We've said we want x to equals one and in fixture one and x to equal two in fixture two. Now, I do want to stress that in like a real world scenario, you wouldn't have this living inside your test file. You'd push this off to another class and then 
you like a fixture class where you extend everything and then you'd import it up the top like you would with anything when we come to doing my page object model videos i'll be giving an example of how you set up and extend fixtures on that as well but uh, this one is primarily just showing how you can replace hooks instead so what we want to do now then is change all this so what i'm saying is i can describe i can delete this describe and just have this test and i can do the same for this one so let's get rid of those so now we've got this. What do we do next? So if you remember, in previous videos, we'd pass through our fixtures here, like page or browser or anything else. Now what we can do is fix one. And you can see it's already there. So for this one, I'm going to say fix one. And this one, I'm going to say fix two. And now behind the scenes, what's going to happen is fix one will set up x to be equal one. And fix two will set up x to be equal two. So let's give this a run. So let's do that. We don't need it in headed mode because there's nothing really running. And let's see if we get two passes on this test. Oh, duplicate, duplicate titles, of course, basic two. Because they were in describe blocks, they could be the same. But now we've deleted the describe blocks, they can't be. So, yep, that's right. You can't have duplicate titles. So there we are. Two tests and they both passed. Now let's just change these around. Let's say fix one. And for this one, let's say fix two. What's going to happen now? You might have already guessed it. Is they're going to fail? Because fixture two is actually set in X to be equal to two. There we are. And fix one sets it to be one. If we go up, you can see expected two received one. And expected one received two. So it's because they were the wrong way around. So... If we change this to be fix one and leave that one as fix one, you'll have one pass in and one failing test. Perfect. Uh, that's what I wanted to show you. Like I said, when we start creating page object models, I'll show you how you kind of extend that, add your own fixtures, and also use like the page and extend on that as well. But that's a simple way of how you could replace our kind of before each hooks with doing this kind of stuff. And you've got a setup, you can do teardown in it as well. As always, any comments, please drop them below. A like and subscribe is always appreciated. And as always, have a good day.